I'm sorry, I'm fucking up left and right. It's just uh, something going on with the sound. I don't know if that's if that was loud enough, y'all. Let me hear. Let me uh, let me hit it for y'all, motherfuckers who are here tonight. I'm sorry. I just realized I got some audio problems starting the goddamn show. Let me hit it for Super Saiyan Joku, who is here first. See, it's it's fucking. Oh, I know why. I fixed the audio. I'm sorry. It was like the, the the lowest intro ever and shit. Yeah, I was on mute too. Yeah, yeah. Everything was fucked up. You see what happens? Cause I was gaming and then I, I moved all the settings. It's all right. It's all right. I figured it out. I figured it out. All right. All right. Uh, let me hit it. Treat Tim Tony. I don't have a thing for you, but I'm gonna hit it for you. The woke pack for life, motherfucker. Cause I'm gonna consider you a woke pack member from now on. Here we go. Whoa. And Gomer Kyle is here as well. What's your name, scumbag? Gomer Pie. Private Pile, I'm gonna give you three seconds to wipe that stupid looking grin off your face, or I will gouge out your eyeballs and skull fuck you. One, two, three. Shazam. Thank you, motherfuckers, for being here today. Starting off <laughs> starting off good. I'm trying to fucking well, not starting off good, but you know what I'm saying. We're starting off good, sort of. You know, we're still figuring shit out. You know, we're drunk and high. And again, tonight's broadcast is not being sponsored by Buzzball Chillers. Made by women for men who dress like women. Tonight, we're going to try Chill Mango. Oh yeah, that sounds like it's right up my alley. Oh yeah. Let's see. Oh. I gotta scratch my throat there a little bit. But it's good, it's good. It's good. Definitely tastes uh like like mango for sure. Alright. Remember to sign up for our fucking uh, emergency channels because we're one strike away we're on a period to like I think by the end of October if we can make it by the end of October without getting a strike those two strikes will get deleted and we'll get to start from the beginning uh, but right now if we get one more strike our channel will be deleted uh, so with that being said sign up for these channels down here and actually we're officially on rumble Thanks to street uh, Tony who told me about it he told me a bunch of uh, some other ass that I didn't understand But but I understood this much and I made a rumble account It's gonna take me a while to fucking put up all the old videos right now I only have three videos and I already have a bunch of these Punjabi motherfuckers Fucking uh, commenting telling me about like give me money and I'll make you famous and fuck you, you son of a bitch. I, I need the money to be famous. You wanted me to pay you, fuck you. Sons of bitches always, always, always out to get somebody. Those goddamn motherfucking Indians, sons of bitches. That's why we need to build a wall so they don't come over here no more and try to scam us when they're call centers and shit. But, anyways, make sure you sign up. Uh, I don't know the the link. You'll just have to search the underground broadcast because apparently I need 20 subscribers in order to get WW like to get the what's it called the link for your rumble. They don't give it to you right away. You need to have at least 20 subscribers to get the link. So you motherfuckers go over there and look for it and subscribe. Make 20 fake accounts or whatever. Get us started. 
Uh, don't forget, we're also going to watch All In this Sunday at 6 p.m. Central on our Discord. Make sure I'm going to post a video probably on Sunday morning. And it'll have the link to the Discord channel where we'll be doing this. Uh, so check us check us out then. And shit. All right, let's keep going. We got some comments for y'all motherfuckers and shit. Uh, and let's, before we start lagging and all this ass, it's already giving me this shit. Oh, your stream's bad because you don't have good internet. Fuck you! Sons of bitches. Always gotta be talking down. Anyways, send me stuff to my social media uh, at X, or Elon Musk, at Son of Man 665 at the IG at the underscore underground underscore broadcast. And we're not doing TikTok no more. It's up there, but we're not uploading anymore. Fuck TikTok. Sons of bitches. Anyways, whenever you send me, I will go ahead and fucking uh, uh, post here. Just like my friend here, Super Saiyan Joku, who sent me this earlier this week. He said, at the underground broadcast, this should be early enough, right? I'm always last minute, lol, oh yeah, because I want you to send me this with enough time. You're sending me one hour before I start the goddamn show. You're making me rush to put this up there, you dicks. I'm always last minute. Now look at my smile. I'm just like a kid in a candy shop, but it's the weed shop. Here's a cool look inside of my art gallery in my second home. I call the Green House, aka Dream House only. For smokers, cheers, muff flowers, hashtag live. Hashtag marijuana, hashtag Mary Jane, hashtag sm smoke weed every day. Uh, so this is the store, right? I mean, none of that. Is, is any of that art actually yours, Joku? Did you donate that art? I was, I was gonna ask you, son of a bitch, because you said you look your art. I think you're lying. Those are just shit. That's just shit on the store, right? On the wall. I really like those little canisters where the weed's already broken up, man. That's fucking badass. Um, OG. Oh, fucking rolling blunts, this motherfucker. That's some badass shit. This is the stuff I got still. Like, this is my, my little stash that I've had. Uh, I'm down to my second second little cup. I've had two, but now none of my second one. Um, yeah, Joku, that's badass. I'm jealous of that shit that you're in this uh, fucking you know badass state. You know, it's winters must suck, but god damn it, it's amazing to live there. You know. Uh, so cheers, my friend, for all that shit. I'm a smoke to you, mm -mm. Joku. I do want to say I was having a really bad week, a really, really bad week, and uh, and then Joku sent me a package, this son of a bitch, he sent me a fucking badass package, uh, I thought I was just going to get some little thing in the fucking mail, some little, some little envelope and shit, and then I go, and it's like this huge box, and shit, and I was like, what the fuck is this? Oh my god, like I'm telling you, I was literally having a bad week. And everything changed the moment I got that package. I'm not even playing, Joku, I don't know, like, you lifted my spirit, bro, you made me happy. Uh, yeah, just brought the smile to my face, but I'm gonna share with you a few of these things that Joku uh, got me and shit. He got me... Some Britney Spears pops! Oh, yeah! Look at this! The Britney Spears from the... Uh... From Toxic. I'm I'm You're toxic! Oh, yeah! And then that other one is from... Where is that one from? That's the one where she's in space in Mars. I forget what the... Oops, I did it again. I play with your heart. Got lost in the game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's from the Oops, I Did It Again fucking, uh, uh, fucking, uh, uh, video and shit. Those are badass. And they're collectibles, too. They came with a fucking little plastic and shit. I was all like, hell yeah. And then he sent me some more. He sent me, uh, these other two. Let me see where the, where the video changes here in a little bit. Sorry about that, motherfuckers. Um, Britney Spears. 
on the where is it the one where it's like uh i'm a slave for you i'm uh, so excited I'm not trying to hide it. She even she even has the fucking the snake. That's badass. And then the other one. And the center of attention is like a circus. Oh, the ringleader, Brittany. Yes, Joker. Those are so badass pods, bro. I even put him right there. You can see my Ninja Turtle figures back there and shit. Uh, and some of my amiibos and shit. Oh my god, this is some of the coolest stuff, man. I just, I was so big smile on my face and I was laughing. I was like, this is perfect. Uh, I love it. I love it. And you sent me some shirts. Uh, you know, uh, I'm not going to be, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm never going to fill them in. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, unless I take steroids and I get like De Bautista. All of a sudden I get huge like De Bautista. Uh, but I really like the way that Dragon Ball, how it feels, and it's badass. Uh, I could probably sleep in it naked. It'd be badass it's all over me. Oh, yeah, the way, it, the way it feels on my body. Uh, it's a badass shirt, man. It's fucking cool. Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan level 3 and shit. Uh, that's fucking dope. And he also sent me one of these, like, Hawaiian shirts and shit. Button-up Hawaiian shirts. But this one is a Shenron pad. This one's badass, bro. This one's fucking badass. If I ever shoot a music video, I'm gonna wear that open. Oh, looking all gangster and shit. That's badass. I really like this Shenron, too. Uh, yeah, so thank, thanks for all that, you know. Uh, I got a bunch of other stuff you send me that I can't show here. Um, uh, I th appreciate you for all that. Don't worry, man. You know what I'm saying? We'll get that. We'll get that fixed. Um, and my dog appreciates the toys you got him. This motherfucker. That's his new favorite toy. He runs around every. He runs around all around the house, fucking with that shit, Joku. So Kylo, thanks you. Ah, cheers. Thank you for that, motherfucker. And uh, compliments of uh, my friend over there. Tonight, after I'm done with the joint, you will be seeing me with some mimosas. Oh, yeah. So, we'll be smoking that a little later. Shit's badass. Uh, I'm afraid of those Doritos. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Not only because they're Doritos, but they're probably going to taste like ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. My dog's name is Kylo. Kylo, like, like, like this guy right here. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, uh, let me start with the comments, motherfuckers, because now we got quite a bit of comments and shit. Uh, the first one is canceled for life. This fucking racist. What do you call a hundred black men buried in the ground up to their neck? What? Afro turf. So another. How do we know that Adam and Eve uh, weren't black? Oh. You ever try to take a rib away from a black man? Okay, what, 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 are, what are three things that a black man can't get? A black guy, a fat lip, and a job. <laughs> I told you I'm gonna kick the boy. Someone just got canceled. Someone just got canceled. Someone just got canceled. I wonder what they did. You racist. Cheers. Cancel for life. Hey, cheers. DMT, son of a bitch. Uh, I thought you were watching your concert, you motherfucker. Son of a bitch. More like gay loop. Son of a bitch. Hey, you leave my dog alone. <laughs> Anyways, uh, canceled for life says, on the ball de Mayo, Disney's woke pervert employee. He says, I wish my boss would send us provocative pictures of her ass X-Men characters. Hmm. Maybe a sexy rogue or Psylocke. Aw, yeah. Cheers, son of man. Hashtag. Cheers, DJ New Kid! <laughs> Thank you for being here, motherfuckers. All you motherfuckers are here tonight on a Friday. I got nothing better to do to be here with this fucking trance motherfucker. Anyways, let's keep going. 
Uh, Anthony Timid. This hog motherfucker on the Joaquin Phoenix was intimidated about being gay in a movie. He says, I really don't care about this douchebag either. Uh, he also says on the boat, Demiles is Disney's pervert. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, you know what? This buzzball chiller mango. It like scratches my throat. I don't know why the mango's like I don't know like what's it called? Add like I uh, like acid or something. I don't know. It just it hurts my. It's not hurting my throat, but it's like you know stinging or something. I don't know. It's weird. It's too acidy or some shit. But anyways, Anthony Timmons goes. Disney's full of woke perv employees. Fucking weirdos. Yeah, I mean I don't understand what these motherfuckers like. You know like. You wouldn't be gay. That's fine. You wouldn't stick objects in your ass. That's perfectly fine. You know, drug dealers do it all the time, too. You know, nobody fucking judges them. You want to fucking be debaucherous and, and all that shit. All that is fine. But do it at your home. Do you really have to go to work and start behaving like that? You dumbass. If we all did that, are you kidding me? What kind of a world would this be? We're all as perverted as you fucking homosexuals. In fact, some of us even more. But we do that in the privacy of our own homes and shit. There's people that fucking, you know, masturbate to, to people to feed. Walking on dog shit and stepping on eggshells. You know, that's disgusting. There's people that masturbate to like, you know, fucking cows farting and shit. There's weird shit out there. All right, but people do it at home. They don't go to work and start fucking showing people and then doing it in front of them. Those goddamn idiots. You know, that's a problem with this movement is that there's a bunch of perverts that are all like, oh, I can, I can do whatever I want now. And, and they're making people, they're making it look bad, you know, because there's nothing wrong with being gays and lesbians and, and shit. It's the fucking perversions that's, that the idiots are trying to make. Uh, like, oh, we can do it in public. No, you can't. No, you can't. You dumbass. You dumbass. Anyways. Cheers, Timmits. <sighs> uh, DJ New Kid on the Son of Man Coke bottle featuring KZ. KZ Bayback. KZ Bayback. Uh, he just put clap hands with DJ Short. Thank you for that one. I think that's one of the last collabs I did over there in, in ATX. This little lesbian, she was a little lesbian girl. She'd just come over and be making out with her little girl, her girlfriend. Her girlfriend was younger. She was like 18. And I was telling her, like, you fucking, you pervert. <laughs> we're all like almost, we're in our 30s. You're over there picking up little girls. Hey, you lesbian. <laughs> I don't know what happened to this bitch. I lost, I lost contact with her and I've searched for her and she didn't come out no more. She might have gotten shot and died. Who knows? Casey, hit me up if you're still around, bitch. We can go pick up bitches. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cheers, DJ, new kid. Um, on, oh, J Hart W on the Cinnamon Skyline single. This one is Fires. Uh, yeah, yeah, that one's like, uh, I get really creative when I'm being hateful. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. Uh, I like, I like, I, th I think I remember some of that shit. Uh, I was just describing, I was one day, I was just watching television, and I was like, that's a fucked up the news and everything that was happening. I was like, man, this is a fucked up world we're living in right now. And I started writing just a poem, and then I, that's what I did. That was Skyline. It was just fucking, just watching the shit on TV, but it was pissing me off. And ass. Anyways, I think I'm done. I, I finally uploaded all the music I had. I have like old stuff. Like demo type of shit with really bad equipment recorded. Uh, and, and probably I'm like 15 or, you know, I'm young. Doing rapping and doing shit, but doing music. But I don't, I'm not going to post those. Uh, you know, I, I, did, I only posted the full albums and, and all the other recordings and... and Hey, some of those albums have videos, man. I'll show you all a video tonight. Yeah. Hey, fuck you, DMT. He says, I heard your new song sounds like an up-and-coming Drake. You son of a bitch, I haven't done music in over 10 years. There ain't no new song. Stop lying to people. You son of a bitch. 
Me and this guy, one time, I told you, this guy, we, uh, I fucking used to just get on the internet and just fucking find randoms. And I told DMT, because this guy, DMT is a really good drummer. Really good. I don't know what, dude, you're not in a fucking heavy metal band, motherfucker, I'm telling you. One of these Atreyus or one of these badass fucking progressional bands. You should already have been bid in a band already, motherfucker. Uh, but yeah, we jammed out with all these fucking white people with these white dudes in some garage. It was it was, was alright. I mean, it was a cool little, you know, little thing we did. It was cool. DM Tag, thank you for being here, you dick. Alright, let's keep going. Uh, Anthony Timmons on that Justin Bieber lashes out at fans. Oh, I'm really using AI now to create some of these images. But the AI is stupid, man, because I describe as much as I can so that the stupid thing could make it the way I want it. And it still does something on its own, and it pisses me off. I'm like, you idiot. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, that's the AI image, Justin Bieber getting mad at fans. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. One of the best ones it's done, because it's giving me a lot of ass that I get mad at. Anyways. Anthony Timmons says, Justin Bieber is a turd, thug wannabe. Yeah, yeah, he was young in the in the industry and shit, but he knows how to sing, Timmons. He knows how to sing, and he's talented. He knows music. I'll give him that. He's, you know, that's, about all, that's about all he's done and shit in his life. Is he's actually musically talented, and his parents saw at that from a young age and took advantage of it. He says, he's going to make us a money. Uh, they're really smart parents. Those are some smart individuals. You know, my parents, you know, they... They fucking saw this and they said, we can't make money off of that. Literally, they know that in the future, everyone was going to look like this. And now it's too late for me to make money because everybody's already done it. Son of a bitch. They fucked up. Timmons. Anyways, let's keep going. Uh, Timmons also says in the Kanye, Kanye's a victim of slander video. Kanye's always catching shit from people. All these nut sex call him a weirdo, but honestly, I think they're projecting compared to most people. Kanye's normal. Eh, yeah, I mean, like, you know, I live in a fucking, in the hood. I live in a black neighborhood. I'm the lightest skinned person in my neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Luckily, everyone stays away from me. Go figure. Uh, but... You know, I'll be honest with you, like, he don't act any more different. I think some of the people around here are crazier than Kanye. I ain't gonna lie. God damn it. Some of my neighbors are fucking nuts. Uh, but, you know, Kanye's alright. You know, he's just not educated. That's the difference, is that he's just a person with money who is uneducated. You know, that's, that's it. That's the only difference. And I think people are just, you know, they're dicks. They're fucking dicks. They don't understand and shit. Uh, but, you know, it's what it is. We like Yeezy in this channel. I defend him a lot. You sons of bitches. I defend anybody who is worth $400 million. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways. Oh, no, ma'am. Let me hit it for this. Misogynist rapist. No, ma'am. National Organization of Men Against Amazonian Masterhood. I just realized, I don't know how, but there's some sh the, the fucking drink spilled on my keyboard, and I don't want it to go into the fucking shit. I don't know how to do this, fellas. I hope it doesn't fuck up. Give me a second. One of these days, I'm going to have a white person, a sober white person in charge of pressing all these buttons and doing all this. And then the only thing I have to do is just look at the camera and talk to you all. I don't have to fucking press no buttons and ass. But anyways, no ma'am, this misogynist rapist, he fucking says on the Jonathan Majors... Uh, fucking, uh, 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 ruins Marvel again video. He says, Yeah, Marvel usually shits the bed with their villains. They won off most of them. Thanos and Loki were the exceptions. Kang it was somebody to look forward to, but now because this guy effed up, we'll never see Kang in the way he was intended. God damn it. Cheers to the man. Hashtag. Uh, they do. Like, 
That's why I was surprised they were ever to do Thunderbolts because they kill every fucking villain. And it's like not even in the comic books do they kill people. Like they fucking people are getting arrested and thrown in jail and then they break out and start again and do some ass. You know, it didn't make no sense that every goddamn movie they were killing off their villains. I was like, what's going on? They like didn't they don't exist anymore. Well fuck you is what I was saying to that. Uh, Loki was and Thanos were the only ones that stuck around and they fleshed out a little bit more than the average villain. But they were killing a lot of them. They did kill a lot of them. And shit. Uh, I gotta tell you, I really don't like this flavor. It's too, I don't know what, every time I drink it, they like too. I don't know. Acidy or something. Buzzball chillers. I don't recommend the mango. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, stop making your keyboard sticky, son of man, you slut. Hey, fuck you. All right, I go through keyboards like I go through fucking joints. All right, I got a. This is the best keyboard I've ever had. It's super small. It's just really, really small. Um. You see these these things I have I have to put all these like little notes about wh whose button is for what noise and shit cuz my Steam Deck only has so many buttons and shit so I don't have enough for all you my fuckers It's probably the pineapple it's something that's acidy on that ass I don't recommend it or I don't know how we women probably don't even like that Oh uh, and I got two of them so I'm going to have to drink them Oh man Maybe once I'm a little buzz, I won't give a shit, you know? That's what she said. Oh, yeah, Chase! <laughs> Anyways, Anthony Timmons on the Eternals goes anime. He says, our cartoon, that's another joke. It's another joke. Yeah, it's, it's, it's them just, they fucked up. They fucked up and uh, that's it, you know? No one gives a shit about this ass, about Eternals. And they casted all these, you know, really expensive fucking actors and, and, and thought it was going to be badass. And they even had the first gay kiss. Two men who lived together. And they, they, they did stuff in the dark. And shit. And, 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 and fucking, oh, interracial relationships were the first one in Marvel. And then the movie was so innovative. And they, they went to locations. And so beautiful. No one gave a fuck about Eternals, you dumbasses. All the money you spent on a boring ass movie that led nowhere and left all these plot holes and continuations that fairly five, six years later, we're finally gonna get what happened when the goddamn damn thing fucking giant throws out of the fucking earth in the new Captain America movie but it's been so goddamn long already no one gives a fuck god damn it fuck you Disney and Marvel and Kevin Feige you idiots <sighs> anyways Timmins also says on the Yakuza like a dragon is worrisome Holly woke will never learn until they go broke. Unfortunately, they'll never go broke, Timmons, because they've been milking this cow for years. Disney has billions, billions. Not only that, but the kind, the, the fucking, the, the the portfolio that they have is ridiculous, because they don't own just. It's not just Marvel and Disney. Yeah, those things are failing. But they have so many things that they own. They have the Beatles catalog. They have the fucking Beach Boys catalog. The hundreds of millions of dollars worth of songs and fucking DVDs and vintage vinyl ass. Uh, they have a lot of shit and they have the Fox properties. They actually are sitting on the live action movie rights to Dragon Ball and have not used it. Because that came when they bought Fox. Fox has had the movie rights to the Dragon Ball franchise. If they want to make a movie, Fox had bought it. That's why they made that shitty ass evolution movie that no one likes. Um... And now Disney actually owns it. They have it. They have the paper that says, if you want to make a Dragon Ball live action movie, you can. I hope they never do because they're going to fuck it up. Joku, you know Disney's going to fuck it up. Even worse than what Fox did with that Dragon Ball Evolution. It's shit.
And give it up for a motherfucking burn. I think it's burn. Burn the world. <laughs> this pumpkin patch motherfucker, he's back. Cheers. We love you. Anyways, let's just hope it'll leave Dragon Ball alone. On the Yakuza like a dragon is worried. Oh, this guy's cancel the cancel culture. It's been a long fucking time to this guy. This guy used to comment a long time ago. He says, uh, the games are a bit silly at times, but it's it's a pretty cool franchise. I think Kenny Omega was a character in one of the last ones. What? Well, see what they do with the live-action version. I didn't even know. Holy shit. I had no idea. Wow. Kenny Omega in it. Uh, wow. Uh, I, I didn't know. I don't play Yakuza, so I'm going to be honest with you. I don't. Uh, I hope this show is good. The trailer looks good. And shit. Appreciate you guys. Uh, I see Timmons, if you're talking about everything's out of sync as far as your comments are always late, there's always a 12 second delay. I don't have really good internet. All right. And my computer's 10 years old. It's a miracle we're even doing this show right now. Uh, so yes, you, it's, you're, you're, it's a 12 second delay as far as it's not really live. Unfortunately. I don't think they've put in Google Google Fiber in my neighborhood. They're afraid to come down here to even fucking, you know, deliver pizza. I'm not even playing. They don't deliver pizza past 5 p.m. in my, in my fucking apartment complex. Because you'll get jacked. Uh, no, no, no. It's always been, like, there, there's always been a delay in the comments, fellas. Since the first time I've ever... It's just my internet. That's all it is. I don't have fast internet. There's a 12 second delay, so I see your comments after the fact. That's just the way it is. Anyways, let's keep going. I thought you meant there's a there's it's not synced. Like I'm not talking when I'm talking. That'd be weird. Then then I, then I know something's fucking up there, motherfucker. But if it's the chat, like you guys, it's a delay. That's normal. It is what it is. It's been like that forever. Look at this conversation. Oh, it was Stream Team Tony on the when I was playing Super Mario and the Rainbow Stars. He says, "I sorry I missed the live." Oh, yeah, it was random. You know, um, oh, it's lagging. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, maybe after we finish the comments, it, I don't know how to fix it, guys. I really don't. <laughs> I'm saying I do, but I might not. I don't. I don't know how to fix it. Uh, yeah, one day. We're going to have a white sober motherfucker here fixing it. Maybe it's because there's a lot of you here suddenly. It's like, oh, there's like uh, f more than five people watching them. Let's fuck them up. And then and then like this is that's why this is happening and shit. Uh, yeah, maybe that's it. I don't know. The more people watch, the, the more they fuck us over. Anyways, I uh, if I fucking game. And I'm bored. I might start gaming like this. And I might do out one hour streams. But it's going to be random. So I'll, you'll never know. It'll just you'll, Suddenly you'll see a thing that says I'm gaming. I'm gaming tonight. I'll try fixing it after the comments, Timmits. We're almost done anyways. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to game tomorrow night, Saturday night. I'll play for another hour this stupid game. I, I, I kind of got hooked on it. It's fun. Uh... Now I'm putting the download link so you can download it and play it to it your computer. Uh, it, it's not a Switch game. It's a computer game and shit. Anyways. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Anthony Timmons says he's sorry he missed the stream too. And he says we should all agree on a game and get it and link up. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I have a PS4. Uh, I used to get online and I, I played with Gomer this past week. I played uh, Fortnite with Gomer. Uh... On Monday and Tuesday, we got online and we played for a while. Uh, I don't know. I'd be able. I mean, I could stream my PS4. I'm not gonna lie to you. In order to stream my PS4, because of all the fucking the wiring, and my PS4 is over there by the TV, so I would literally need to disconnect and move, make some room, and put it over here. My Switch is small and portable. I've had the Switch here. <clears throat> it's easier to just play the Switch. I used to. I, I would stream Mario Kart a while back. 
Uh, but yeah. I mean, uh, we'll see you, motherfuckers. I usually try not to stream from my computer as far as I don't game on my computer. But this game, I wanted to play it, and it's only playable on a computer because it's a fan-made game. So yeah. I don't have Steam. My computer can't handle gaming. Uh, damn it. Wyndham. Wyndham. Wyndham left this. Oh, Wyndham. Anthony Wyndham. Been a while since a motherfucker shown up. Thank you for commenting, Wyndham. Cheers. Uh, Wyndham also said, I'd like to play online with you guys. Leave a link in the description so I can download it. I went back and put the link in the description. I also put a chapter so you can skip to when we actually start playing the game. But I was like, maybe 20, 15, 20 minutes of... Because I hadn't streamed gaming, so I kept having difficulties. And then my thing crashed on me several times. Uh, so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, you guys, you Fortnite be the easiest thing for all of us to get on. But it's only a team of four. I'll just tell you like that. Me and DMT, we, we used to get online and do uh, Lego Fortnite. That was fun. <laughs> we just fucked around there for, an, for a long time. <laughs> we have little villages and shit. Uh, but yeah, yeah, y'all can let me know and shit. I, we can get online maybe on, on non-busy days. And by non-busy days is like probably like Saturday nights or Mondays. Monday nights and, and, and Tuesday nights are good, you know. I, I just had, there was not a lot of news this week, all right? So, uh, you know, I managed to have a lot of free time yesterday and shit. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, appreciate you guys for commenting, Anthony Timmons. And let me make sure this is the last comment. I think it is, this son of a bitch. It is. And it's not her, the Houston, Texas, very own, Jose Trevino. Repites tu nombre, por favor. Houston, Texas. Eh, soy americano mexicano, señor. Para que usted se cuadre, ¿ok? And uh, Jose Trevino says, What up, son? This week has flown past real fast. Will you be taking some DNC Simp Fest? Or you'll be talking some DNC fit, fit Simp Fest tonight. I'm sure true patriots like Gomer, Mr. Trumpets, and the rest of the Wolfpack would enjoy. By the way, what were you playing yesterday? Anyways, cheers, Sunny Woke Pack. Hashtag. Live. Hashtag. World order. Uh, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Jose Trevino. Uh, ever since they announced that this dumb bitch is re replaced Biden, I did. I tuned off. I'll be honest with you, I think everyone's tuned off. No one's even watching it or interested or talking about it. Everything's died down. Like, no one takes it serious. And that's why it's weird. All these polls. The, the, the TVs, fake news. Oh, she's ahead in the polls and she's going to win. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, no one likes her. No one likes her. Not even her own. The people that, that, that wanted to vote for Biden like her. So it's, I don't know, it's fake news. And this, they were doing the same thing with Clinton. So I don't know, I've just been turned off about, about it all. I just fake. Everything's a bunch of, it's a bunch of lies. So I just, I, I just tuned it off. And uh, so, yeah, no, I'm not going to talk about it. And, you know, I don't, I don't even think they said anything funny or worthwhile. I didn't watch it. It's just Obama over there talking about idiot, idiocracy. Fucking dumbasses. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. Lower the prices of gas. Lower the price of food, you pussies. How about you do the right thing, you motherfuckers? Sons of bitches. Anyways. Uh, it's fucking bullshit, Trevino. I'm, 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 I'm done with it. I don't believe it. And, and you shouldn't either. They're fucking... They're lying to everybody. Oh, motherfuckers. Uh, Super Mario and the Super Stars, or Rainbow Stars, because it was a rainbow game that we were playing, motherfucker. I left the link in the descriptions. You can download that for your motherfuckers to have fun and masturbate to it. It's badass. What's up, Trevino? I appreciate you commenting and all that ass. You son of a bitch. And the rest of y'all for being here tonight. Uh, y'all are badass. Uh, before we leave the comments, 
Remember to send me stuff to the social media. Whatever you send me, I'll show at the beginning. Uh, whatever drugs you're doing, or whatever fucking drinks you're drinking, or whatever pets or cool stuff like pops or whatever you have, send it to me on these social medias, and we'll show them to everybody. You become a little celebrity here with the woke pack, you motherfuckers. Kamala's daughter's hot. I gotta look for her. I've never seen her. I've never seen her, but I, now that you did you say that, I'm gonna have to go look at look up for her. Does she do porn? Let me know. Maybe she has an OnlyFans. Oh yeah. You know if Kamala would get an OnlyFans, I bet you she would win. She's a dumbass, but she ain't gonna win. Nobody's gonna vote for that bitch. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna say some ass where oh she won the popular vote. Oh, but Trump won the electoral vote. They're gonna say that. Oh, she, the Trump didn't win. He didn't win because she had the popular vote. It's not fair. And we're gonna be hearing that for four years. You just you wait. Fucking sore losers for everything. The fucking pussies. Anyways, before we leave, Gomer Kyle, our very own Gomer Kyle, has our weekly redneck life advice for y'all motherfuckers. Here we go. Hey, welcome back. This is Gomer's Redneck Advice of the Week. Now, I know this advice is regular advice, but I'm a redneck. I'm telling you the advice, so it makes it redneck advice. Anyways, my advice this week is simple. Stay out of the hammer lane. If you're on the interstate, stay out of the hammer lane if you're doing the speed limit or under the speed limit because people are going to go by you faster. My dad hated somebody who would always be in the hammer lane, so just stay out of the hammer lane. I even had a girlfriend of mine. She was a redneck girl. She chased somebody five miles because they wouldn't get out of the hammer lane when we got off the interstate. Anyways, that's my advice. Stay the fuck out of the hammer lane if you're going slow. Anyways, cheers. Won't pay for life. Won't suffer for life. Peace. Uh, I'm going to do this for you, Gomer. Woke son for life. Woke son. Life. Ah, oh, yeah, motherfucker. Uh, stay out of the hammer lane. I, yeah, there's a slow ass lane and then there's a fast lane. And I fucking hate that people that don't know that. Because I'm high all day long, motherfuckers. And I drive on the slow lane. Alright? I do drive on the slow lane. And when I'm on the highway, I'm probably going 65 instead of 75. But I'm on the slow lane, because I'm not being a dick. But there's motherfuckers that are going 80, and they're on my ass. Like, I, And I'm like, I ain't going to move. I'm in the right. You want to you wanna go fast? There's two lanes that way, you son of an idiot. Get on the other lane and go fast and kill yourself, you dumbass. And I don't move. They're right on my ass, and I'm like, hit me. Hit me. I dare ya. I'll sue the shit out of you, and finally we'll get a production and a good quality show up in this bitch. No one ever does, though. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Learn the lanes and ass. And know that if you get on the highway, you also shouldn't be getting the highway. If you're only going to go 40 miles an hour. That's just ridiculous. I'm high as fuck. But I'm going at least 60 or 65, you idiots. Oh, Gomer, that's really good advice because you understand, man. People are idiots. I don't know how half of the people out there driving even got or passed their goddamn fucking driver's test. And I'll explain to you why, okay? Um, a friend of mine said the most genius thing. And I said, you're a genius. And I don't know why they haven't implemented this. But he said they should make the cars where you literally cannot turn the wheel unless you flick your blinker in that direction. And if you don't, you won't be able to turn the wheel. And I'm like, that's genius. Because you have no idea how many times motherfuckers have turned. And I did almost crashed because I didn't know they were turning because they didn't put their blinker on. Oh my god. I, those are the people that I fucking despise more than the slow motherfuckers. The motherfuckers that don't warn you they're about to turn. You idiots. <sighs> You know, when you're out there driving, you got to pay attention, okay? Because you could be the best, perfect, most awesome driver in the world. If an idiot doesn't know what they're doing, they can fuck you up. That's all I'm saying.
to fuck you up. All right, all right. Anyways, thank you all for commenting this week. You all did a good job. You make the show and all that ass. Uh, we're done with the comments, but let's get this show going. And we're going to start this week with a goddamn pop culture breakdown. Unfortunately, I am going to start off with some bad news. And Snow, it's not some downer. But it was some bad news. Because Hottie, Topanga, Danielle Fischel has come out and said that she was diagnosed with breast cancer this week. Oh my god. The good thing is... Is that this was actually found super fucking early. She says it's like stage zero and shit. So uh, it's uh, it's one of those things. Uh, that you know it was caught really early and, and shit. But it's still one of those things where it's cancer. And they can remove that shit. But a few years from now it could come back. Somewhere else. So it's just one of those things man. Oh, I feel bad, man. This, this hot day, this hot day. For 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 this this to happen to people and shit. But I'm telling you all, fellas. I keep telling people. This is all stemming from everything we eat. I'm not lying. This is stemming from everything. All the filth we put in our mouths. All the fast food combos and your sodas and your sugary coffees and your Starbucks and the fucking drugs you shove up your ass every weekend when you're tripping on ecstasy and DMT and all that ass and and your gay homosexual sex, not wearing any condoms, all that shit that you do, just going outside breathing the air. You know, you see them at 10 in the morning every day, exactly at 10 in the morning. They're fucking flying by, putting up chemtrails everywhere all over the sky. There was, it was a clear blue sky, and all of a sudden there's all these clouds, and it don't even be clouds, it's like smog everywhere. Oh, fuck you. They put fluoride in the water. There's fluoride in your toothpaste. Your chickens are pumped full of antibiotics. You wonder why hotties like this are getting breast cancer. Motherfuckers. Ah. And there's nothing we can do about it either, guys. Because we all, like, we need these things to survive. We need our Chick-fil-A's. We need our Starbucks coffee. We need our chemical trails in the air. We probably don't, but nobody gives a fuck, so they still keep doing it. They've been doing it for years, and no one's ever complained, so they they don't they keep doing it. <laughs> Does anyone ever know? Dude, it hasn't rained here in my state, or at least in my area, since fucking April of this year. It hasn't rained. The grass, there is no more grass. There's just dirt everywhere. It hasn't rained here. They're spraying those things. Oh, don't worry. It's for the weather. It's going to help it. The fuck it's for the weather. Sons of bitches. Uh, God damn it. Best wishes to this hottie. Love you. Thank God they caught it early. But oh well. The rest of us, we're fucked. Moving on. Another more tragic news this week. I think it was expected from everything we've been saying. But J-Lo and Ben Affleck, that's it. It's over. Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Lopez has officially filed for divorce from this lazy son of a bitch. Uh, just wants to fucking get high, chill indoors, but not this bitch. She wants to be outside getting pictures, taking paparazzis and going to the gym and let's go out and P. Diddy's having a party. Come on now. You got to watch these black guys fuck me. Make sure, make sure no one, you know, touches that ass. That ass is yours. But come watch. 
I like being watched, she said. Uh, no, no, no. You know, after all those years of not being with her, he called a cog, went back to her. He, we realized this bitch hasn't changed at all. She's still the same. God damn it. Ah, oh, what a damn shame. You know that fucking big ass emerald diamond ring he fucking gave her? That dumb ass. Uh, what else did he fucking do for her, you know? Uh, they didn't even get a prenup or nothing, you know? So they're gonna have to fucking, you know, split shit half ways. I think this is gonna work out for him. Because I think he's poorer than her. They're both rich as fuck. You know, they are. They are. But she definitely is, has more money than him. So, yeah. I think uh, I think she's going to end up uh, getting fucked in this one. Everybody want to say a bunch of shit about my boy, Affleck. But I'll tell you right now. This is like this bitch's 100th divorce and shit. Like, nobody. Nobody can put up with her. That ass is good, and they're all over it, but they all eventually say it's not worth it, my friends. All right, and she she's good at it, too. She does this thing with her ass where it's almost like a suction. Everybody loves it. They, it's a, this thing on the internet. I read, I read it in a forum, but she says she does this thing like this with her ass. It's like a suction. It's fucking badass, they say. Uh, but yeah, apparently it's not even worth it. Once she starts bitching and shit. That time of the month is that week before. She's really demanding and horny too that week before. She really wants to go to those ditty parties that week before. She starts bleeding all over the place. Oh my god. Oh well. Uh, I don't like to fucking revel or uh, enjoy other people's sadness and miseries. But I will say, uh, you know, cheers to Affleck and her, to her. I hope everything ends up fine because there's kids involved. Luckily, he didn't get her pregnant. I mean, well, I mean, you know, you're fucking in the ass. Of course, you're not going to get no one pregnant. You dumbass. Uh, good job, Affleck. Good job. Cheers. But, anyways. Uh, something else that came out this week, I wanted to touch base on, you motherfuckers. But Tim Timothy Chow May, fresh out of being Willy Wonka and being Paul Atreides on a fucking dune and shit. Uh, Mwadip. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's hot right now. Everybody loves him. Not only that, he's pretty woken in style. Look at this fucking, you know, like, I don't know what the fuck this is. Like a scarf. He's not even wearing a shirt and shit. And it's shiny. But everywhere he goes, there's just little girls all over him, you know. And he's he's he looks like a little boy. But he's not a little boy. He just looks like one. You know, he's already like a man. You know, he's a man uh, who, who never has shaved in his life. Lucky him, man. I fucked up. I should have never had shaved. I started shaving when in my 20s. And then I started getting stubbed. But I was like him. I didn't have no hair at all. Um, I regret it now. I should have never, never had shaved. I would have been getting a lot of bitches right now. Being all smooth and shit. I really and I had to go deal with this ass. I gotta shave. It didn't look good with my fucking lipstick ear. It always fucks shit up and ass. Uh, this guy knew what to do, man. He knew what to do. But anyways, Chow May, motherfucker, over here, uh, is hot, and he just gets sworn by all these little girls, you know, because they like him. He looks young, just like them, and shit, and he's got it so smooth, and, uh, you know, his dick is probably clean. And little girls seem to like that nice, clean dicks, you know. Uh, they don't know about the dirty dicks, you know. Oh, yeah, those are the ones, they're, those are the ones, fellas, but they don't know it yet, they don't know it, they're young. Um, but apparently... His current girlfriend, Kylie Jenner, is sad and she feels betrayed because she's heard rumors that while she's been overseas in Ibiza with her sisters, 
uh, whoring around, going to fucking clubs, wearing bikinis and thongs and lingerie to go eat and all this ass. Dancing with black guys, probably going to orgies and all this ass, doing drugs. While she's been doing all this, that Chow May has been over here partying with little girls. And uh, she feels betrayed. She doesn't understand why someone would do that to someone of her caliber. Look, you little bitch. How's it feel to get a taste of your own medicine? The little whore. Because she thinks she can, oh, in this relationship, I can whore around, but not to you. Fuck you, you bitch. Chow Mei is on another level. This motherfucker knows. And who does this bitch think she is? She wants to go post on Instagram her little titties with little lingerie. Oh, yeah. I'm going to hang out with 16-year-olds, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. While I'm wearing, like, a scarf and no shirt on. You bitch. That's right. Taste of your own medicine. You think you're the only one could be a whore? Chow Mei could be a whore, too. You motherfucker. Then what happens? The motherfucker. Oh, I, I, no one's ever done this to me. The, this is not f cool. Fuck you. You damn bitch. This, this, this is what happens when you treat people the way you've been treating motherfuckers. You've been treating motherfuckers your whole life like this. Oh, you're better than them. You're rich. You're a billionaire. You're fucking beautiful. You can do whatever the fuck you want. I can go to clubs. I can hang out. I can post myself half naked on the fucking internet and shit. Well, fuck you. So now you finally met a boy who can do the same thing. And you get all sad and shit. Oh, that's not fair. Fuck you. Chow Mei, this is for you, motherfucker. Show the little bitch. Hey, yeah. I licked your pussy and I fucked your ass, bitch. But guess what? I could do it to anyone else, too. Keep keep being a whore. Keep being a whore and see what happens, bitch. That's right. This Chow Mei is not an idiot. Chow Mei, I have, I have gained a lot of respect for Timothy Chow Mei. Fellas, this motherfucker knows how to handle a fucking bitch. All right, he treats a bitch like a bitch. Cheers, Chow Mei. <laughs> I ain't gonna be played. I ain't gonna be played, you whore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chow Mei's not a little bitch. He's no one's bitch. This is badass. This is probably the best news we're gonna say tonight, fellas. Anyways, we're gonna move on. Fuck you, Kylie Jenner. Chow Mei, we love you. We'll see what happens. I don't think she's gonna break up with him because that bitch is gonna try to one-up him. So she's like, I'm gonna keep him around and see how I can fuck him over. I'll sleep with his brother or something. The fuck you are, bitch. The fuck you are. Yeah, anyways. We talked about it last week, motherfucker. But after getting fucking uh, backlash, because Disney, some lady died. Or uh, I'm sorry, I'm high. Some lady died. We talked about it last week. Some lady died of fucking Disney and shit from eating food and ass. She told the motherfucking waiters, hey, I'm allergic to dairy and nuts. And shit. But she was being a bitch. And she had a fucking Joe Biden Kamala shirt. And the motherfucking waiter got pissed. Because she was being a bitch. And she's a fucking Democrat. And so they put extra dairy and extra nuts in her fucking food. And this lady had an allergic reaction and she died. <laughs> so her husband was suing Disney. But these idiots. In a South Park uh, iPad Centipad fucking way. These idiots signed up for Disney Plus back in 2019. And when you sign up, you have to click on the yes, I agree to this fucking small print fucking 70 page fucking ass that they tell you to scroll down to. Everybody just scrolls to the bottom. I accept. Download. Give me those Disney Plus. That's what the family did. That shit says you can't sue us if your, your fucking wife dies from this ass. <laughs> so that was the end of it. But after all the online backlash and everyone calling out Disney for being greedy pieces of shit. Un un fucking unhuman like motherfuckers. Sneaky, conniving and shit. Disney has now said, okay, well, uh, we're gonna, this is a horrible situation. 
we're going to allow this to go to court. But we're still going to pay our lawyers to defend us because it's not our fault it happened. We don't have control over the employees. We don't have control over the motherfuckers that put shit in your food. And you're being a bitch. That's not our fault. And that's the story and we're sticking to it. That's what Disney said. Uh, I don't know why people keep signing up to Disney+. Plus. I don't know why people keep buying any Disney products. This company has shown us that they are the literal Satan of today. If there is an Antichrist, he's got two fucking big, you know, round black ears and shit. An ass. You know what this Mickey Mouse literally looks like that ra the racist cartoons, the, the black racist cartoons they used to do back in the day. Remember you fellas? With the big lips and shit and the fucking white face. That's exactly what he looks like. God damn it. This company's evil and it's Satan. Everybody signs up for this ass. Just so you can die one day by their hands. St spend all your money. For products that are not even worth it. For shows that are not even half as good as the, 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 the money they're spending on. And fucking bullshit food. Microwavable fucking food and Frito-Lays that they just go buy at the corner store. And they pop it open the bag and they pour it right there. And here you go. These are fries and chips. That's $75. God damn you. Fucking Disney. You evil, evil sons of bitches. We're moving on <sighs> to a less evil uh, food franchise because Chick-fil-A this week came out and said they are currently developing their own streaming service. Why? Why? Uh, by the way, this image was made by AI. And AI is fucking stupid. Because that's the... Make me a Chick-fil-A app on, on the TV. And look, what is that? Chinese and shit. They don't even look like Chick-fil-A. You stupid AI. We're supposed to be... Oh, dude, be careful with AI. It's going to take over the planet. The fuck it can take over the planet. He can't even make me a Chick-fil-A app picture it makes me some chinese bullshit because they don't even know what it's doing you idiots uh, anyways back to it why do we need a fucking chick-fil-a streaming service yeah they are apparently spending millions of dollars on making game shows Fucking uh, their own produced shows about like like touched by an angel type of shit. You know, they're going to show on Friday nights or whatever the fuck uh, behind the scenes of Chick-fil-A. How the employees and the, the, the reality TV shows where they follow people in the Chick-fil-A and shit. Uh, fucking dumb shit like that and cartoons about like fucking cows and chickens and shit and it's like you know that's already been done by another network by the way cows and chickens but now they're gonna be cartoons over here for children to download the streaming servers who the fuck is gonna pay a monthly subscription fee to a chick-fil-a fucking streaming app Oh, I can't wait until the new fucking, uh, I don't know, uh, Missy, B Missy Likes Chicken show or whatever. Fucking stupid. <sighs> Probably the worst thing out of this, to be honest with you. Is this, this stupid streaming service is probably not going to be available to you to watch or use on Sundays. Which is just ass. If you ask me. <sighs> well, it's at the very least, it's good to know that Disney isn't the only idiots out there throwing their money away. And by the way, this is money that's coming out of your pocket because you're the fucking idiots that go every day and you wait 30 minutes in line to buy your fucking $15 Chick-fil-A combo and ass. You idiots. That's why they're so rich that they're now throwing P 
pissing away the millions of dollars they've drained out of your fucking ass on a streaming service. I'm not gonna lie, I would probably spend that money on stupider fucking shit. At least they're trying to come up with something, right? Uh, I don't know. I think they're the whoever they have in charge of what are we gonna come up with is an idiot. They need to hire someone else, is what I think. We're moving on from this Chick fil A ass. I don't fucking trust anybody who doesn't like homosexuals and doesn't work on Sundays, motherfucker. Everybody works on Sundays. Even God worked on a Sunday. You idiots. The Sabbath is actually Saturday. Yeah. The first day of the week is Sunday. So the day God rested was Saturday. You idiots. That's the real Sabbath. And you work on it. You idiots. You're breaking the law. God's law. <sighs> but moving on to a man who has broken God's law plenty of times. But it's now being said, Oh, brother, that Hulk Hogan's biopic starring Chris Hensworth is officially dead in the water. <clears throat> Netflix has said we are no longer going to produce this ass. Todd Phillips, the director, by the way, is the one from The Joker. He was going to do this. He said, that's it. It's done. We're not moving forward. Chris Hensworth ate all that chicken. He would eat a whole entire fucking little baby every morning. Protein. It would work out and got huge to be the Hulkster. It's not happening. It's not happening. And you want to know why? <sighs> well, it's because Hulk Hogan was being a racist again. God damn it. Because apparently this guy not only really, he really, really fucking hates people who are not white or in his case, orange tanned. Ah. <sighs> This motherfucker just can't catch a break. But it's his own fault. I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna lie. Because enough time goes by every time he opens his ass and says some racist remark. Enough time goes by that people forget. Some people even forgive. And there is a small percentage of acceptance that is reverted back to him. And then he opens his mouth again. Fucking dumbass. Well, this past week, I'm just going to go ahead and play you the video of this assery. Uh, here we go. You want to get crazy? You want me to throw more beers out? You want me to body slam somebody? You want me to body slam Kamala Harris? I said you want me to body slam Kamala Harris? You want me to drop the leg on Kamala? Is Kamala a chameleon? Ow. I'm gonna get heat for that one, brother. That was not me, that was the beers talking. <coughs> that was not him. That was the beers talking, fellas. Motherfucker, that's the beers talking every time I open my mouth, you idiot. But I'm not up there trying to represent a presidential candidate. You dumbass. God damn it. Even when Trump took Lil Wayne up there, he didn't give Lil Wayne the microphone. He just said, Lil Wayne's here. And he shook his hand and had him right there and shit. Lil Wayne waved and that's about it. Because he knew that motherfucker is high out of his mind. You don't want to give a motherfucker like that a fucking microphone. And but Wheezy couldn't even speak two words. He was really fucked up. <coughs> but anyways, this dumbass... Going to, you know, all that about body slamming Kamala and about she's being a chameleon, all that was good. It was still fucking passable and, and funny. And then he goes, how? 
You fucking idiot. Oh. <laughs> you yeah, fucking dumb motherfucker. Oh, hoco, hoaxer. Ooh, brother. God damn it. You never, never gonna learn. You fucking idiot. Uh, I don't think we're ever gonna see him in WWE again. Or in AEW. We'll never see him in AEW because I think Tony Khan said that's the one person who was banned for life. <laughs> Tony Khan said, the one, he's never even been here, but the one person who was banned for life from AEW is Hulk Hogan. <laughs> for being racist and talking shit about brown people, that son of a bitch. This is true feelings. Born again Christian, my ass. Born again fucking Aryan nation is what he is, a son of a bitch. Talk about he believes in Christ. Yeah, Christ, Christ was brown, motherfucker, and he didn't have colored eyes. The fuck? You'd like Christ if you saw him for real, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Ah, uh, oh yeah, brother. Oh, uh, I'll tell you what, Mean Gene. Oh, man. I hate this motherfucker so much, just like everyone else, because if you're as old as me, your oldest wrestling memory growing up is seeing this asshole. He was our hero. He was Hokamania. We were all Hokamaniacs. He was a hoaxer. He was wrestling. He was. He's fucked up. He let us down, just like all the other heroes we've had in our lives. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix, the pussy. Motherfucking R. Kelly, that fucking debaucherous, disgusting human being. And not to mention disgusting human beings, but Pete Diddy let me down too. Son of a bitch. Fuck you, Hulk Hogan, you racist asshole. You piece of shit. I don't know why you're still not canceled, you dumbass. Trump should come out and denounce you and said, I and I'm not if no longer affiliated with this racist. <laughs> That's what should happen. Uh, <laughs> it's the beers talking, street team says. It's the beers talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The beers be going to be talking a lot tonight, you motherfuckers. Cheers. All right, but I'm getting a new buzz ball chiller, and mostly because this is I bought two of these mango shits, and I need to finish this because I don't want to ever buy the mango flavor again. I'm not saying it's bad, just for me, it's too acidity or whatever. I don't know, it just it, it, it hurts. It, stings i don't know i can feel like the pineapple i don't like pineapple because of that reason too uh so it's doing the same effect and i i've eaten mango before and mango doesn't do that to me so whatever they put in this is not just mango and it's just fucking me up i think maybe it is a little bit of pineapple in this that's called chili mango oh chili mango so they put they there's something else in this obviously it's not that good to me uh, so far, we've tried the watermelon, which is good. We've tried the margarita, which is good. Uh, with the cranberry, the cranberry is good. We've tried the sour apple is really good. Uh, and uh, I think on Sunday, when we watch All In, uh, by the way, we are going to watch All In on our Discord channel. Remember? to subscribe uh where i'm gonna put a video on sunday and we'll talk about the all in uh we're gonna watch it 6 p.m central on discord it'll be badass so uh if you want to watch that with us you guys just got to download the discord app on your phone or or download your computer and uh and wait until sunday I'll post a video here or on any one of our backup channels. I'll post a video to giving you the link on the description for the Discord. And you can join and watch it with us. You motherfuckers. Uh, but, yeah. Don't forget that shit. 
Uh, but let's 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 keep it going. Let me finish this ass and and like I said on Sunday, I'll try the the chocolate. There's a chocolate mocha latte one. I think that one's gonna be real good. But we'll try that on Sunday and shit. Uh, let's get this show on the road and we're gonna move on to the weekly comic book nerd shit. And uh, this week, we're going to start off with some ass. But the crow has debuted it from the critics at 19%. The audience score will find out tomorrow because people are watching it tonight for the first time. So we'll see how that goes. But so far, the reviews are that it is shitty as fuck. Uh, that it's bad, it's really try hard, and it's really, really cheap and ass. Um, I don't like what the critics say, because every time the critics hate something, maybe the movie sometimes turns out to be good. So I'm kind of waiting on the audience score, to be honest with you. But it really doesn't look good for this movie. Because opening night, which was Thursday, it only made $650,000. And it is estimated to, with that kind of projection, it's estimated over the weekend to collect a good six to maybe eight million dollars over the next four days on a 50 million budget which is a very cheap budget by the way uh but good for them they need to make movies at 50 million 20 million they need to make movies at 20 million from now on is what i'm fucking saying uh but yeah 50 million budget and it's only made 650k. I don't even think it's gonna make the six million, the minimum six million they're saying it's projected to. I know you saw if you saw the the fucking what's it called the thumbnail. Excuse me, I sneezed. All right, if you saw the thumbnail, it said uh the crow so bad. We're not even going to review it. Yeah, we're not reviewing it, it says. Because I always review these movies and I show you to it. But I'm actually wanting to see it. I've been wanting to see it because, I mean, I knew people were going to trash it because it doesn't look like The Crow. But I, from the very beginning, I said it better not be The Crow. This better be, like, something different. But, you know, because you can't recreate that masterpiece you can't recreate a man who died you can't and make it good so i wanted it to be different and this is really fucking different so i kind of want to see it give you my opinions but apparently this fucking piece of trash is so fucking horrendous that not even the Punjabi motherfuckers who I usually get my motherfucking pirated movies from cammed this ass. No one has a pirated version because not even the fucking pirates want to go into a theater and place their camera right there to record it. They don't even want to waste their gigabytes on their HD cams recording this piece of shit. Because it's not available in anywhere I fucking usually get movies from to show you guys. You know the last fucking couple of movies we've reviewed here? What was it? Borderlands? And Deadpool Wolverine, I had both of those fucking movies in really good fucking qualities, by the way. By Wednesday afternoon of that week. This movie premiered on Thursday. Fuck 
fucking Friday. An hour before I started the show. No one still had it. Nobody gives a fuck about this movie. That the goddamn pirate motherfuckers don't even want to pay to put their camera on their seat. And walk out, smoke a cigarette, and then come back and get their camera when the movie ends. They don't even want to pay the ticket to do that for this piece of ass. Ah, you believe that shit? So, I haven't seen this movie, fellas. I haven't seen it. Hopefully, somebody decides to pirate it. Go into a theater, put their HD cameras, record it. Upload it on the internet. Maybe it'll pop up. I'll download it. And I can give you my actual thoughts and review next Friday. <clears throat> but I can't even believe that this is the first movie that I can't even review. Because the pirates didn't pirate it. That's fucking crazy. This is the first time ever on this channel. The pirates didn't pirate a movie so we could see it before everyone else and review it and show you footage. We can't do it. Nobody wants to go and and not pay to see this. Nobody. People don't want to pay for it either, but people don't even want to steal it. This is how fucking shitty this movie apparently is. I'm not trashing it. I haven't seen it. I want to see it. I want to know if I'm going to trash it. I probably am. But I, I, I haven't seen it, so I'm not trashing it tonight. I'm just simply telling you that everyone says it sucks so bad. And apparently it does. That the goddamn people that steal movies don't even want to steal this movie. If not, I'd be showing it to you right now and giving you my thoughts about it. So The Crow, a movie so bad, we're not even going to review it this week. And if people don't pirate this movie, we might not even review it next week. We'll have to wait until it comes on digital, but, but you know... <laughs> Maybe it's going to be so bad they're not even going to release it on digital. It's going to be available only on VHS and shit. Oh, yeah! Yes! <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Fuck the crow. We're moving on from this bullshit. This son of a bitch. Talking about like, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to change the culture. <laughs> <laughs> fucking guy anyways anyways uh there's some fucking shit that people were talking about this week fellas but apparently oh wait hey god before i even start i just realized that the fucking cunt was here you can feel it while smoking you can feel it while drinking you can feel it getting woke as fuck. So get your slob ready, because the cunt is here. And remember, it's always... Live. Fucking cunt. Again, there's a delay on the chat and shit. And when I'm doing the show, I'm doing the show. But there he is right there. He says, aw, yeah, cheers, fucking cunt. The son of a bitch. Thank you for being here, you motherfucker. Cheers. He probably already left, too, you motherfuckers. Why didn't nobody cheer him, you bitches? You sons of... You fucking... You motherfuckers! Now one of your fellow woke packers! <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> this stuff is so good, Joku. Cheers! <laughs> Anyways, let's keep going. <coughs> that stuff's really good. This week, it came out that apparently there is an Anaconda reboot with 
Paul Rudd, the immortal vampire, and that democratic piece of shit, Jack Black. And they're going to reboot this Anaconda franchise and shit. It's going to be nuts. And probably funny and silly. And that kind of pisses me off. I think the special effects will obviously be better than the way they were in that fucking Jennifer Lopez movie. And the acting will actually be more enjoyable because these two motherfuckers are good actors as far as they're good to watch. Uh, but this is obviously not going to be some kind of scary movie. This is going to be funny. You know, funny and then, then some kind of like joyride and shit. For all families to enjoy. This is not going to be a fucking... Uh, it's not going to be as badass as people think it's going to be. I'll just put it like that. I think that even the Jennifer Lopez movie is probably more hardcore than the, what this movie is going to be. Because the Jennifer Lopez movie even had Ice, Ice Cube in it. It's shit. It did. It did. <laughs> um... But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know uh, what to think of this. I think I'm going to wait for the trailer. But what I personally think is that this is going to be some kind of ass. That it's not going to be serious. And it's going to be silly and funny and fun. And not scary. And I think that's where they're going to go wrong. Because this should have been some kind of thriller. Where people are, are running for their lives, trying to survive dying from a fucking giant snake. But instead, it's going to be like some silly slapstick Looney Tunes where these guys are trying to catch something for discovery and become famous or some bullshit. That's all I'm going to say. So, yeah. Anaconda, the reboot, coming to a theater near you. Fuck you. Let's see what the trailer looks like, you ass. That's all I'm gonna say. Or are we not? <sighs> Sony is a studio that loves pissing money away and is probably getting closer to the brink of extinction as the years go by. Especially with the decisions they've made with their goddamn Madam Webs and their Venoms and their fucking, uh, you know, their fucking, uh, what was that fucking dumbass piece of shit movie, Morbius? And let's not talk about what's coming up the Craven the Hunter ass. Then no one, no one is gonna go pay to watch in the theaters. The fucking idiots. Uh, yeah. They're going broke because they don't know how to fucking fire Avery Averitt and fucking hire some of man who, who has hundreds of comic books and loves the lore and shit. Can write better stories than that old man in his fucking fan fiction, that dumbass. Well, anyways, they're so famous for pissing their money away and making horrible decisions that they will not stop at pissing their money away and making horrible decisions. Because this week, it was revealed that they lost their Kevin Feige's, their motherfuckers who were basically in charge of their entire Sony-verse TV-verse. Because they have the Sony-verse movie-verse, which is the Madam Web and the Venom and the Morbius and the fucking, you know, the, the Craven the Hunter, all those shitty movies. It's a universe for them that they call the Sony-verse. But they were going to have the toes, the Sony TV-verse. Where it was going to be all on, on Amazon Prime and shit. Good quality, paying and shit. Well, they fired all the motherfucking lesbians and non-binaries who were trying to work on the Silk Spider-Girl show. Because they were making it all fucking bisexual and about uh, indoctrinating kids or some fucking bullshit like that. Uh, so they fired everybody, and so that show got canceled and shit. So we're never going to see the little hottie Asian trying to fuck Peter Parker. We're never going to see it now. 
And now, because these two guys left, and the reason they left is because they were getting angry because the, the budget for the Spider-Man Noir was in the hundreds of millions because Nicolas Cage was going to be in it. And so they wanted, like, top-notch Lucas, Lucas effects and shit like a Star Wars movie for, like, this fucking Dick Tracy black and white ass that they can just go buy a camcorder from the 90s and make it look badass with that kind of quality, but they don't have that kind of creativity, so they got to go spend hundreds of millions of dollars on bullshit and CGI. Well, anyways... The directors got, the, 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 the showrunners, the people who were in charge of the whole universe got mad and they told Sony, you're just throwing money away on this ass. We quit. This is stupid. And they left. And so now nobody knows if this Nicolas Cage Spider-Man Noir show is even going to fucking be made. So here we are again, Sony. More characters that you're trashing. And shitting away. And Marvel and the MCU having less opportunities to make little Tom Holland look badass. So Tom Holland says, three more movies and then I'm out. Tom Holland and those three movies, they're going to destroy your career. You idiot. You, you, were at, you, you left on top. Swinging away into the sunset. You should have left it like that, you dumbass. These next three movies, Kevin Feige is going to ruin your career. And uh, and Sony's is just pissing away just Spider-Man franchises and and, and and stuff that could make them billions. Just pissing it away. That's all this ever has been. Piss coming out of some Asian motherfucker over there in a little island. You know, thinking like he knows Spider-Man. Look, motherfucker, Spider-Man is American. All you know is your Super Saiyan Joe, your Super Saiyan Sentai, and your motherfucking, you know, your fucking whatever the fuck that little robot and that fucking little girl with the big eyes and shit. You know, that's all it is. Your motherfuckers, we're the ones with the good shit, like Spawn, Superman, and Batman, Spider-Man. Yeah, motherfuckers. And then you try to do Spider-Man show, and it looks like ass. It looks like a some Power Ranger bullshit. You don't even know how to do Spider-Man in your own fucking super or stupid, yo, know, translation and shit. You stay away from our ass. All right, we're moving on. That got a little racist. I'm sorry about that. Anyways, uh, since we're talking about fucking uh, franchises and, and ass... And motherfuckers that buy stuff from other people because they got more money. And then when you're poor, you have no re you have no no choice but to steal your belongings and your 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 fucking PlayStations and all the shit you've worked hard over the years. You sell it for drugs or for, for food or whatever the fuck you need it for, you know, but it's still something for you. And you lose it. Well, the same way that that happens, uh, the Fox lost a lot of their properties to Disney. Someone was richer and shit, and they were getting poor. So Disney bought both the franchises of Predator and the Aliens. Came with the Fox purchase, along with the Dragon Ball Z, which they haven't done shit with. And I'm afraid that they might realize that's what they have, and they're gonna fuck it up. But hopefully they don't realize they have it. But surprisingly released under their 20th Century Studios uh, uh, label, Disney owned. Prey was a hit. It was woke as fuck. It was badass. And I fell in love with that little fucking Native American little girl. She's a badass. Better than Captain Marvel and shit. Better than Brie Larson. Oh, motherfuckers. And Alien Romulus is badass. I love it. So Disney has like done something right. And it's not that they did something right. It's that for the first time they allowed. Uh, because this is not technically under the Disney label. They're calling it 20th Century Studios. So they allowed the directors the freedom to do what you want. Because this isn't Disney. 
and it it showed in the movies. It showed because the movies to me were good. They were really good. Both of these fucking franchises are amazing. Uh, rejuvenations, rejuvenations for both of them. I think really good rejuvenations. I can't see. I can't wait to see where the franchise goes for both of these follow up on the 20th Century Studios slash Disney. And that's what it is. Let's say the truth. But now the director for Alien Romulus, Fede Alvarez, this fucking foreign son of a bitch, not born in America, but I respect him because he did something really good in this movie. It was really good, fellas. But I respect him. Well, now he's coming out. He's coming out and he says, hey, I really like what Dan Trattenberg which is this fucking asshole, this white son of a bitch who did Prey. I really like what he did with Prey and the Predator. And I, I, I want Disney to give us an Alien vs. Predator movie. And we can co-direct it. Or I can direct like the first half and then he directs the second half of the movie. And it'll it, the two movies, like it'll be different, you know? Had the first half will be different. The second half will be different too. He goes, but it's the same movie. It's one movie. And I'm like, oh my God, let them do whatever they want is what I'm saying. This That's genius. Uh, I am excited for this. This is probably the only good news I'm going to say tonight because like, I really liked Prey. I think they did a good job with the Predator. And the, the new setting of it was badass. The little girl was super woke. There was no lesbianisms, but there was strong women. And I, I respect strong women. I just don't like any of these women kissing women bullshit. Men, men pulling on dicks is fine, but none of this women on women ass. We've already discussed this. The Predator was badass. New armor, new fucking ass. And uh, the Alien Romulus was good, you know? You could, Obviously, there was some of those gay, lesbian, non-binaries, but it really wasn't shown, and it wasn't forced. And you know what? It was just one of those things where it's in your head that you think they are, but you know, they don't say that they are at all in Alien Romulus. I was about to say there's no agendas at all in Alien Romulus or in Prey. Prey only had the strong woman. Alien Romulus had the strong woman. But let's be honest with you. Aliens always had the strong woman from the beginning. It was Ripley. The strongest woman ever. God damn it. Uh, the guy that made Evil Day at movie. So this is definitely badass. I had no idea. Fede Alvarez made the Evil Dead. The newest one. That's crazy. I just, from that movie, I remember, I went to go see it in that fucking, with your brother, you son of a bitch, DMT. We went to go see it in that movie theater where you eat. Oh, you were there too. And me and you were the only ones eating. And I remember that chick had a fucking knife and I was splitting her tongue in half. And I was biting into a hamburger the moment that shit was happening. And I was just like, this is pretty fucked up. Ah, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good times, good times. Anyways, um, I'm excited for this. Uh, I don't think Disney's going to jump right. I think first they're going to do sequels to both of these movies. They both need it, obviously. And then hopefully maybe we can get an Alien vs. Predator fucking these guys with these guys doing headlining it. That would be really badass. That would be really badass. Uh, cheers, you guys. There's some good news tonight. There's some good news. That was some good news. You, you, good news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, something everyone's been talking about. Get ready for this. We all know. We all expected it. I certainly did. I did. I was like, I was willing to bet my entire paychecks on this. But yeah. The Acolyte got cancelled. Thank God. But it was obvious. 
It's obvious. Everything gets canceled. All of their trash has immediately gotten canceled. She-Hulk got canceled. It's not getting a season two. It never did. Uh, I'm telling you this Agatha bullshit that we're going to watch and review in the next month. It's going to get canceled too. No one's going to watch. It's going to be the lowest ratings and shit. Uh, this got canceled right away. Bubble Fett got canceled. Obi Wan got canceled. Everything, all this ass gets canceled right away because nobody likes it. That's why. Because nobody likes it. <sighs> Fuck you. I'm glad that this got canceled. There's all these nerds online. It's not fair. We're never going to find out about Darth Plagueis and why he was in the cave being all mysterious and shit. And we're never going to find out about May and Osha and why she erased her memories and shit. And Versentra, that lesbian lady, and why she had the whip and was she the ex, the master of the guy, the Ezra Miller character and shit. And you know what? And Yoda and all this. Who gives a mother fucking fuck? This is one of the stupidest shows that had the least Star Wars ass in it. And not only that, but make the the Jedi were complete and utter fucking more. All of them. All of them should have get, never have been accepted into the Jedi Order. The way these people acted, none of those people should have been Jedi. They should have never been let in. They would have failed all those tests. All their, all of them are wild, un, un, unhinged motherfuckers that have no control over their own fucking emotions and shit. And we're supposed to believe they're all Jedi Masters. Masters! Fuck you! The power of one. The power of many. All these lesbians there. Fuck you. Oh, we made two little girls from the force. Oh, so what about Anakin Skywalker? Fuck you. Everything. Oh, Mr. Master Yoda at the end. I have to tell you the secret of everything that's been happening. Because you're dumb and stupid and didn't feel anything, any disturbance in the force the entire time all of this happened in the fucking series master yoda you're a fucking idiot and an amateur at using the force so now i have to tell you everything that happened at the end of the show fuck you this show was written by a dumb fucking lesbian that doesn't watch star wars let it be known i said it right now Uh, it gets even worse because Disney's gone as far as just completely removed all the fucking merchandise. Now and I'll say some of it came back suddenly, a few T-shirts and shit. But they know that no one's gonna buy this ass anymore. They had pre-orders. For this helmet of the Sith Lord, Ezra Miller, that fucking helmet that's like a smiley face and shit. Fucking stupid, it's copper. And they had pre-orders and shit. Nobody wanted to order it and be because, you know, those are limited pre-orders. So they have to get like at least the minimum 300 orders because they cost like six, seven hundred dollars and shit to make this bullshit, supposedly. It's all fucking 3D printed in a fucking by a machine. It's cheap as fuck. They charge you seven hundred dollars for it. Limited edition, all this bullshit, right? But whatever. Not enough people pre-ordered the minimum three hundred that they just discontinued and gave everybody else their money back and shit. Nobody wants this franchise. Nobody wants your products. Nobody wants your toys. Every time I go to fucking Walmart and I look through the Star Wars shit and I'm always looking for a Darth Vader or a Luke Skywalker or Princess Leia, Carrie Fisher. I'm looking for old shit. 
All that's ever there, and it's full of it, because nobody wants to buy anything. It's Darth Reva, that fucking black chick. It's tons of those. It's a bunch of acolyte shit. Like, nobody wants to buy these fucking toys. Not even the kids like these shows, for fuck's sake. The kids are smart enough to say, Luke is the po most powerful Jedi ever. Not none of these other characters. Fuck you, Kathleen Kennedy. And fuck you, the acolyte. You deserve all all this ass you're getting, you dumb pieces of shit. Cheers! The Star Wars died a long time ago, and I was heartbroken, but I revel. I revel, and I am happy when I see failure. Failure from these pieces of shit that destroyed something I loved so much. You don't think I love it? It's all around me, motherfuckers. I have Sith stuff all around me. I have Star Wars stuff all around me. All right, it's all around me. Believe me when I say. And I, I just fucked everything up, but it's okay. It'll get fixed. It'll get fixed. Everything gets fixed every once in a while. There you go. There you go. Yes. I was a huge Star Wars nerd, and it pissed me off the moment Disney and Mickey Mouse bought, bought all this. I am a Sith Lord. I fucking am surrounded by a Sith shrine all the greatest this are all around me right now and i have a life-size i've shown it before a picture when i have a life-size darth uh darth nihilus i have a life-size darth nihilus uh in my room for you motherfuckers uh but all that is dead to me disney killed it so i revel when i see failure cheers to you cheers to you and Disney's failure. I revel in it. I do revel in it. Fuck you. Uh, but we're not done talking about Disney's failures because it continues. Because apparently, Tamora Morrison, Bubba Fat has come out and said, hey, I have been outside of Disney in Orlando. Uh, I've been begging for a job and see if they want a cameo. If they need a stormtrooper or a clone, because it's all me, you know, it's the same guy. Uh, I can be in any of the movies or a cameo. Like I'm there and they keep telling me no and shit. And I keep going every day because, you know, I need some job and I need to pay my, my the, the fucking houses and I owe some fucking bookie some money from gambling and shit. Also got a couple of bitches pregnant with some children coming along. So he needs some money. Disney's telling him, no, we're not going to use you. All right. We're not going to use you. That's it. You're done. And he said, well, can I come out in Mandalorian the next season? Season four. And they told him, no, they're not going to be no Mandalorian season four. That's been canceled. It's done. Well, 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 why? Well, because we're going to turn Mandalorian into a movie. And he said, well, that's perfect. Can I be in the Mandalorian in the Grogu movie? And they said, no, you cannot be in the Mandalorian and Grogu movie because your show sucked ass so much that nobody wants to ever see your pussy ass character. Because we, the company that bought this character, turned him into a pussy. And because we fucked up, the fans hate you, and we can no longer use you. So take your ass back to whatever fucking island you're from, you aborigine piece of shit, because Boba Fett is never gonna be in another Disney or Star Wars movie again. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, Tamora Morrison got told to fuck off because because of our fa the fans, supposedly, because of our fault. We didn't support the Boba Fett show, which took the galaxy's most dangerous, most skillful, most dangerous, skillful bounty hunter and turned him into a pussy. Because they did that to this character that we love. 
This man is out of a job. And uh, who's to blame here in reality? This man, that's, his, that's all he's ever done. That's what he's known for. That's what he's famous for. Boba Fett. No longer Boba Fett. Because the company that took control of that character gave it to some seven foot tall wannabe white European wannabe white Mexican son of a bitch who ruined this character for the rest of us who loved him. Ah. <sighs> Oh, I don't want to be bad anymore. I want to help the poor and defenseless. How are you going to make money and still be king of the underworld? Idiot. <sighs> I kind of feel bad for this fucking bald piece of fucking man, you know. I mean, I, and yet at the same time, hey, it's his fault for gambling his money and buying hookers and getting bitches pregnant, you know. Like, you pull out and come in her face or have sex with men. That way you don't get no one pregnant. But whatever the fuck, he made some bad choices. Now he's in the situations. Ah. We can, some of us can relate. Not all of us, but some of us can. But I kind of feel bad for him because, like, you know, that's the only thing he ever did. And that's the only thing he's known for. And that's the only thing he's good at is being Boba Fett. Or being a clone trooper. Because he's a clone trooper. And now, because Robert Rodriguez and Kathleen Kennedy and Dave Filoni fucked up the character, and us, the fans, don't want nothing to do with Boba Fett anymore. I'll tell you what, because back then I was a real simp. I was in Star uh, Fortnite a lot back then. And I was a real simp. I was buying all the Star Wars shit. When Boba Fett finally came on the fucking item shop, I did buy Boba Fett. Fuck you. I had Mandalorian and I had Grogu. But the fuck I wanted to have Boba Fett on my inventory. They tried to sell me that Wookiee and that Asian chick. I don't want nobody from that fucking show on my Fortnite locker. Fuck you, Boba Fett. Fuck you, Disney. You pussies. You come at me like that. God damn it. I still feel, still feel bad for this man. It's tough out there, just like Street Team Tony just said. It's tough out there for everybody, man. The struggle is real. The struggle is real. Cheers. Ah. Cheers, motherfuckers. Ah, oh, yeah, that's my mosa, my mosa right there, motherfuckers. I don't even know. The letters or the little things is too small for me to tell you what percentage this is. It says it's 70% THC. And cannabinoid 77%. I don't know what none of that shit means. These fucking nerds. Mimosas. Aw, oh, yeah. Shit's fucking badass, bro. And it's going to last me a long fucking time. <laughs> Trust me, it is. God bless you. I'm doing it. I'm going. I'm doing it. I'm going Super Saiyan Joker for y'all. I want to have the world. The world's most comfortable pair of ultra soft. <laughs> Cheers, Joku, motherfuckers. We're gonna get a white guy pressing all these buttons one day. A sober white guy. I'm telling you, motherfucker, that's gonna be like, can you please not call me those things? Hey, shut the fuck up, you pussy. Unless you want me to go over there and start licking your ass. You better do as I say, white boy. <laughs> I imagine that's the kind of boss you would have. <laughs> that's badass. That's badass. Anyways. Cheers to you motherfuckers chilling tonight. 
We're going to end the tonight show with a Marvel ass for the, all you motherfuckers. <laughs> all of you motherfuckers on the live version see all the fuck ups. Everybody doesn't know what the fuck's going on, but y'all know what's going on. God bless y'all. Anyways, let's get this show. Uh, let's bring this show to a closing and get into this. Let's get into the Marvel ass. And this week, we heard rumors and we've heard speculations. But we've also heard... Let me see what this thing says because I don't remember. I'm high. I'm reading some of this stuff. All right. We've heard straight from some of the new people that are writing the new... Because they threw out everything. Everything this rapist fucking Bo DiMaggio had done and shit. All right. They fucking threw everything away. And they said, we're starting over. And so they're rewriting everything. And this new... One of the new writers has come out and said that, hey... In this new season of X-Men 97 Season 2, we're gonna fucking have two new X-Teams featured. Not being the main X-Men team, but we're gonna feature them. Now, I put up here the only two X-Men teams from the 90s comic books other than X-Men that I could think about. And the only other comic books that were out at that time were X-Force and X-Factor. Um... Excalibur and a lot of those other X-Men teams hadn't come out yet. Uh, so I think this is what he's talking about. We're going to see X-Factor, which is pretty much the Canadian teams. It, or it's Havoc. Uh, Pol I think it's Polaris. It's Havoc, Polaris, the Beast Girl, this fucking Mongo or whatever his name was. Uh, Multiple Man is in that. And then X-Force, which is Cable's in it, Deadpool. Maverick is in it. Tomahawk. I think it's Tomahawk. I don't remember what that guy's name is in that. Um, the guy from Mojo World. I forget what that guy's name. Um, uh, but X Force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already seen a few of the people in in the Deadpool movie that were in X Force. So that's cool. That at least we'll get to see those eras. There's also new rumors that they're going to get new costumes and they're going to be, um, damn it. I don't have an image cause I'm high and drunk, <laughs> but they're going to be black suits. It's a, it's, it's a late nineties, late nineties versions of this, this new guy who took over the comic books and he made this new version of them and they, they had like black suits black and yellow uh so i don't know how that's gonna look i hope it's i hope it's towards the end of season two i really do uh but because i still want to see them in the classic suits for a whole nother season before they change their suits that's just me saying that so we'll see how that works out but this is just some fucking shit they've said uh, we'll see how it turns out because it could have been that that fucking pervert that guy who likes to fucking touch people's assholes and penises and send naked pictures of himself dresses X-Men it turns out that he was a genius and without him the show might not be good at all you never know you never know it's the same thing as Rick and Morty they fired the pervert and then the show sucks right it is it is what it is so we, we don't know we don't know yet We'll find out when season two comes out, because uh, they're they're everything's being from the ground up from the start, motherfuckers, from the start. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, our DJ has replaced Kang the Conqueror as the main villain for Secret Wars, and Avengers Five, who used to be called Kang Dynasty, is now being called uh, Avengers Doomsday. And uh, even though people want to come out and say, oh, it's because, like, this guy's black. No, no, no. What it comes down to it is that he hit a woman, a white woman, which makes it even ten times worse, especially because of the color of his skin, which makes it even ten times, ten times worse of that, which is like a hundred times when you think about it, because ten times ten is a hundred. So 10 times worse him being a white woman and 10 times worse him being black makes it 100 times worse. 
our DJ just did some drugs by himself or got arrested for having drugs. Some needles, uh, shit like that, and went to rehab. So in the eyes of the general public, uh, our DJ's a saint. All right, that's just the way it is. <laughs> no, 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 nothing to do with racism. All right, nothing to do with racism. I, we're just we're weighing we're weighing the, the sins of the of the of the the fathers. All right, yeah, I don't know. Maybe this guy R D J is certainly a father. Jonathan Major might have kids all over town. We never we don't know. We don't know. We're just yeah, people are speculating. Not us. We're not that kind of channel. Right, we're not that kind of channel, but let it be known that we're just saying uh, when you tip the scales, our DJ just seems like you know, you know, he just did the lesser crime, he did the lesser of the evils. But because he did do an evil, we're gonna make him an evil guy, and he's gonna be Dr. Doom now, but he's gonna be badass because he's more like better than Iron Man as Dr. Doom. All right, that's the truth, and we all know Ken Jonathan Majors is mad about it and shit like that. But everyone's concern, and really my main concern, and everyone, everyone else who actually likes these bullshit, everyone's concern should be how the fuck is Kevin Feige going to explain the hundreds and thousands of Kang Jonathan Major variants at the end of Ant-Man 3 gathering together to conquer the multiverse? Are we just supposed to forget we ever saw that, Mr. Feige? Well, the new current rumor is that the current plan is to have the scene where you see all the Jonathan Majors hanging out celebrating because they beat a white woman and got away with it. And then all of a sudden, our DJ Dr. Doom showing up. And destroying all of these white beating women motherfuckers up with his powers and erasing them from the multiverse and saying, I am doom. Fuck you, Kang the Conqueror. And that's how he's going to start Avengers 5. Avengers 5 will start with this scene. Dr. Doom finding these motherfuckers and destroying them. Yeah. All of them. All at once. Erasing them from existence. And it's going to be Tony Stark, RDJ, deleting this white women beating son of a bitch off the face of existence. That's all I'm going to say. That's one hell of a rumor. I hope that's how Avengers 5 Doomsday starts. It starts, picks up right at the end of Ant-Man 3, showing us all the Kangs. And then all of a sudden, Tony Stark shows up and says, Fuck all you fucking white women pussy beating pussies. You're done. I'm back, baby. And he destroys them all with his power. Because he's doomed, after all. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. We'll see how this turns out. This is just a rumor for all you motherfuckers out there. Want to come out here and run your mouths about a motherfucker who shut up ne shot shot up drugs through needles into his veins just so he can feel a little bit of heaven. None, none of y'all know what heaven feels like 
what it really feels like. But this man down here, this man who is iron, who is iron in more ways than any of us will ever be, because now he's going to be Doom as well. He's iron, the man of iron, and the man with the iron mask. None of us will ever know what heaven feels like. But this man, this man has felt it. He's gone to heaven and hell and back. And he did it for all of us. God bless you, Robert Downey Jr. Cheers. All right, we're going to end tonight with Marvel showing some kind of trailer for their celebration and Disney of their 70 something years. Oh, we bought the we paid for it 10 years ago, but we're going to celebrate the 95 years that it's been here. Like if we did it all, even though other people did it more successful and better. But let us celebrate the success of other people because we paid for it. And after all, that's what matters in the end. Who has the most money to own shit? And they decided, Marvel, to show us a quick pick, sneak pick. And God damn it, I mean sneak pick that I have to slow it down of the future Marvel shit. It was like seconds, milliseconds. The first one, I'll show it to you in a little bit. But it was like half a second of Daredevil turning around. And I gotta say, god damn it. This one half a second looks better than anything Marvel and Disney and Kevin Feige has shown us out of Marvel the past five years. This beautiful Half a second of Daredevil turning around is gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. And better than anything we've seen in the past five years. Now that's not a lot to say when you're saying this is like a half a second clip. And it's beautiful and looks amazing. That's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> because they could give us a whole hour episode and it's all trash. But this this half a second was the only good thing out of it. <laughs> you know, so that's nothing to say about it. But God damn it. This half a second, I will say, is the most beautiful ever thing of Daredevil I've ever fucking seen. Um, it, it's just the eyes, the texture on his mask. It's, it's just perfect. It's perfect. Uh, it's perfect. It's only half a second. So let's not get really excited. Uh, it's perfect for me. It's beautiful. Uh, I'm a, I, I, I want to see more is all I want to say. Because this half a second didn't do nothing. Then we saw Riri Williams Ironheart in her prototype Ironheart suit. Which still doesn't look like the comic books. It looks like that shit that we saw two years ago. Uh, that we showed pictures of. It, that, that's obviously it. It's her prototype that she's making. It's thicker. It looks more like War Machine. The face looks a little bit more like Iron Man. But it still looks like War Machine. But it's a prototype that she's making. And the CGI still looks pretty shitty. I just freeze framed it. It, it does not... Fucking clean. The Daredevil looked fucking clean and real, but that's a suit. This is a fucking CGI piece of shit. Uh, and let's face it, uh, these people that go to college and their moms and dads pay for their educations, uh, they're not that talented. They got the degree and they went to school and learned the program, but they don't have a fucking ounce of talent in their fucking bodies. And there's people on YouTube that fuck around amateurs that fuck around with Unreal Engine fucking 5 and make better fucking scenes and entire little 
five minute fights between heroes that look better than this fucking bullshit that Marvel and Disney feeds us. But oh no, we gotta we gotta hire the privileged motherfuckers who have the degree. Yeah, that's the way the world works, fellas. The people that are really good at shit never get rich or famous or get any money. We're moving on from this bullshit, Iron Heart. Suck my dick. The only Iron Man that's ever existed is RDJ. Anyways, we got a quick look at the Thunderbolts here, uh, which is a little weird. Um, this is actually from the same trailer they showed in the D23 that we talked about a few weeks ago that I wanted to mention to all you motherfuckers is that uh, I couldn't show the trailer because we were going to get fucking banned and shit for showing that ass because now they showed some clips, half a second. Um, but there's one member missing from this. Two members. Obviously the sentry. Uh, but the other one that's missing is Taskmaster. Because that's Ghost. That little Mexican girl in between the Guardian and Bucky. That's Ghost. And you see Yelena. No titty. Big ass. Florence Pugh. Oh, nice little ass. And then you see Wyatt Russell back there. My dad's fucking hot as fuck badass action star. My mom's also hot as fuck badass fucking everything star. But I'm fucking worthless. Um, but Taskmaster is missing. And I think the sentry kills Taskmaster. Because this is towards the end of the fucking movie. They're gonna go see. They're gonna go see. Hey, you're the one who set us up. And they're gonna go see Elaine. Fucking. Elaine Bennis. From Seinfeld. I don't know. I forget her name in the MCU. But that lady. Uh, Julia Lewis Dreyfus. They're gonna go see her and be like, bitch, we know you're the one who set us up. Uh, but it's too late at this point. And shit. They are gonna fuck up the sentry. You're right, DMT. They're gonna fuck up the sentry so bad. But at this point, the sentry. The sentry's supposed to be the real bad guy of the movie. And I think the movie is like. The government. Somebody makes an experiment. The experiment is the sentry. The United States government did not make the experiment. But they sent these assholes to go capture him and bring him back for the U.S. The century. And he goes willingly because he's just a regular guy. And he's scared. He even says in the trailer, my name is Bob. So he goes with them. But when he... Because he's crazy. He's schizophrenic. And his other personality... Is the superhero or the guy with powers. And he's the guy that no one can control. So every time he goes schizo. he turn, He's probably going to turn into this fucking Superman guy. And and they're going to. Like I'm telling you. Taskmaster is going to get killed. I got a feeling Bucky's going to die. Maybe Red Guardian's going to die for sure. Um, for sure. I think that's for sure, that's far as they're going to go. Bucky's going to die. And Red Guardian's going to die. That's my guess. Uh, but it's going to be the sentry. It's going to be the bad guy. And not that he's a bad guy. It's because they're trying to control him. They're trying to bring him back. And that's really the whole point of the story. At the end, they will be able to. He'll be part. He'll finally be a part of their team. Controlled. But that's the whole movie, I think. That's just my guess. From the spoilers we've gotten so far. But yeah. We saw this one image, and we saw Captain America, Anthony Mackie, pissed off as fuck. Why? Because his movie's going to suck ass, and he knows it after four reshoots and $400 million plus, which they're not going to make back. Um, yeah, so we see that little clip and shit. Uh, but one of the main shits that everyone's all excited about is that they Disney went ahead and they fucking released the the first footage official of Harrison Ford transforming into the red fucking Hulk at the podium in front of the White House ready to fuck shit up in America. 
And I know that Marvel and Disney are anti-Trump and they're trying to say that if Trump wins president, he's going to turn into the devil just like this and he's going to destroy everything and they're going to need a black Captain America to come and save the day. It's not going to be Will Smith because he already fucked up is all I'm going to say. Uh, but we'll see what ends up happening. This still looks really CGI and shitty and fake to me. I still think this is a failure. Um, uh, the Void. You said they better show The Void, DMT says, uh, for the century. I think that is going to be part of the shit. Uh, they said The Void is going to be part of the movie. I think that's how the fucking, like I said, Bucky's going to probably die and shit. I'm telling you, Bucky's going to end up dying in that fucking movie. Uh, but yeah, here's a sneak peek of the next uh, two years of the MCU. Everybody. It looks promising. It looks promising. Fuck you. The only thing people are actually excited about, and I'm not lying, is the Fantastic Four movie. Avengers 5, which is now Avengers Doomsday, and Avengers Secret War. And in between that, the next Spider-Man movie. That's the only thing that people are excited about and the only thing that's going to make money. Everything else, what you just shown us, and all the other movies like Doctor Strange and Shang Cha and Shuri, the woman Black Panther and Agatha and all this other fucking young Avengers and lesbian this and fucking gay that and non-binary this and all this ass. All of this is not going to make money. I'm telling you. The only thing you're going to make money in the next five, six years is going to be the next Spider-Man movie with Tom Holland. The next Fantastic Four movie. The next Avengers movie with Doctor Doom, with RDJ, and Secret Wars, with everybody that's ever been badass is in it. That's going to be the good one. Secret Wars. We're going to see like Nicolas Cage Ghost Rider. We're going to see Blade again. We're going to see Gambit again. We're going to see all these. This Q Jackman, Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, Tom, all the best of the best. Fuck all these Brie Larsons and all these the, the, the fucking Captain America Blacks. They're going to be all dead. It's going to be multiversal. Avengers Secret War is going to be fucking Chris Evans again. Fucking Black Widow is back again. RDJ is Dr. Doom. All of the best are going to be back for the final movie before the reset. All of this sneak peek is ass. The song I'm going to say. Whew. Cheers. But I think I've done enough ranting for tonight. And I'm going to leave you guys with a little bit of life advice that you better take to heart to take home for the evening. Don't lose hope no matter what. Because even when you think you got the right mentality and when you think you got the right mentality and you're going to change who you are. You know, this simulation that you're fucking in tells you, no, you can't change the program because this is what is fucking around you and shit. Well, fuck that. I don't, I can change it if I want. All right. And you can't, you can't fucking, you can't fucking lose hope. That's what I'm trying to say. Because if you just keep fighting through it, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, out of the blue, something will 
just pop in and completely flip everything around for you. It happens. As long as you don't lose faith. Super Saiyan Joku, I'm telling you, you did that for me this week. I didn't expect the good gesture. I appreciate it. And I'm telling you, it flipped my world right upside down. Or should I say, right upside up. Ah, uh, yeah. Don't lose hope, my friends, is all I'm going to say. Because life goes on. And, uh, and it gets better. It always does. As long as you have hope. Cheers. And I'll see you next week. Live. What the fuck, man? Fucking running like lady, eh?